Hey everybody, this is the Angry Enemy Fan 2, and I'm now bringing my first manga review to come this week, and it's uh, the Bleach. And if I saw, if you saw the title, I'm calling it Bankai Bullshit. Yeah, because I'm greatly disappointed in this chapter, but none of reasons you might think. But anyway, I can start by telling what's happening. Kurosaki Ichigo is um, talking to Mayuri, and uh, he tells Ichigo that his bankai can never be repaired. It seems that uh, Sampakto can only be repaired when it's in its chikai state. He also tells uh, the reason why uh, Kumamura or, or Saijin's uh, uh, some bankai is take. No, no, what I'm trying to say here is Saijin's giant bankai, when it takes damage, he takes damage. It appears the reason for this is their close bond, who uh, or they are connected somehow. Which, when the, so when he, Saijin heals, the bankai heals, a weakness and a supreme power. He also, Mayuri also reveals, uh, by mistake or probably not, we never know what that guy thinks, that uh, Akon tried to fix uh, uh, Ikako's Bankai, because as we know, that uh, Bankai practically broke when he fought uh, an, Aran an Arankar, and it seems it was still broken, but he fixed it, but the power was not yet, and then he reveals that Renji's Bankai, which he first used at the against Byakugakuchi, uh, some of its blade joints, uh, or something like that, are still broken. Which means that he, what he says, Ichigo's Bankai can never be fixed. What the hell? Can't be fixed? Well, it makes sense uh, in, a, in one way. I mean, they always say a Bankai is ten times stronger than a Sanpakuto, or something like that. If it can't reform, then that only means, of course, you can't reform that great power. Then that annoying or funny guy Khan comes with a muscular and pretty weird body. And he immediately starts bragging or is happy to see Ichigo or other things. But then Mayuri shut off his giant body. And he gets contacted, saying the, to, telling to Kurosaki Ichigo to come with him. The Zero Division has arrived, and Ichigo arrives, all the rest of the captains who are alive are also there. And then that giant transportation, I forgot its name, but you know that pillar comes. Uh, and it's then revealed by the by one of the captains that the Zero Divisions are indeed the ones who serve that uh, infamous Soul King. Maybe we will see Soul King this arc. This is according to Tite Kubo, the last uh, arc in the manga. And he tells that the Zero Division has no soldiers, only these guys. And, uh, well, it's after here I'm, I'm trying to understand. They have a so-called wall that Ichigo first met when he came to Soul Society first. And what I have not understood yet, is it meant to keep the Zero Division out or in? A, or in? He anyways say that the Zero Divisions are more powerful than any of the uh, Gote 13 together. And then they are revealed. One woman, at least I hope that's a woman, with a very ugly uh, and happy face. One um, one guy with what what looks like an Elvis Elvis haircut uh, and a cigarette. One cheerful looking well at least he's smiling right now so I could say cheerful guy who is uh, 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 would have has no hair but uh, a lot of beard and then another woman at least well I think that is a woman but since uh, well, so it was, well, you know, so, damn it, his, I lost his, I lost his name, 
Uh, well, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, uh, since we have seen that look on a man before, uh, Ikaku's best friend or something, uh, uh, I uh, I'm actually wondering, but that looks like a, a woman too. And the last one, well, that's a guy with a lot of hair and a very wild grin. And now, here is one of my theories. One of them must have been a former captain of Gotei 13. Well, probably all of them have been. But what I'm trying to say is, in a flashback with Hiori and Sayuku's uh, past about when Aizen transformed them into vice swords, uh, and it was mentioned that Hiori, uh, who in her former troop, her former captain, she looked to to that one as a mother uh, and as a good leader so what I'm trying to say is it must be a possibility it must be a possibility that um, one of these uh, women is that mother figure and I'm actually trying to guess who is it well for now I think that that's so lady uh, it's the most likely <laughs> because well he or is not really pretty herself so uh, it, sh it could be her but well we we will never know until next week or probably never that's the beauty with these things we never know <clears throat> and then it's revealed as we said before this bankai bullshit that it can't be fixed what does that mean exactly does that mean that uh, Ichigo now uh, needs to learn his uh, so-called Quincy power in order to use half of his Bankai? I mean, or is he going to go into his uh, Sanpakuto world again and talk to Tensa Sangetsu? By the way, is even Sangetsu still alive ever since he got back his soul powers? And I'm, I did not react positive to this uh, chapter at all because uh, Ichigo just got her, his spirit power back, and then yes, suddenly his so-called unbreakable Bankai got broken in two, and now it can't be fixed. And then he get revealed that he has Bankai power or something like that. And I don't know what I say. I mean Quincy power. I mean Quincy power. And now, yeah, he, he has that. So wha what now? Is he going to abandon his Shinigami powers and harness that inner Quincy power of his? I don't know. I just don't know. But what I hope is that we can at least talk to Tensei Sengetsu. I miss that guy. He was so cool. But... Uh, and we will get some news about that. Actually, is Ichigo even going to ask anybody uh, about the, his so-called Quincy power? Well, the goatee 13 will not know. And his father, I wonder if, I mean, his, what we know is his real father, will probably not tell. What I'm, I have a feeling he will go to Sosuke Aizen and... Uh, uh, talk to him. After all, Eisen once said, uh, "I've been watching you ever. S I know of you ever since you were born." He should know about this. But then again, this is only theories, and it will probably will never be told. Anyway, what did you? Other than that, well, other than that, uh, it was okay chapter. Uh, but I c complained so much. So how could I call it an okay chapter? But well, I just hope they can uh, reveal something other than despair because. This was just utterly despair. I hate despair. It's nothing but these this last moments. Next week, at least, I think we will be get uh, no to know the go T thirteen. So the well. So uh, next week I probably won't do a chapter. I'm uh, uh, I'm out on a vacation. But anyway, if if you see, you can subscribe and say what you think about this chapter. And I'll see you guys when I do my next one. In the meantime, chill out and have a good day.
Bye.